It really is hard to believe, but it's been almost a year since I've been back to the Rio Grande Gorge. And let me tell you, there's no better welcoming party than a big group of desert bighorns making their way through the campground, giving us a nice warm welcome on this beautiful New Mexico morning. Keep it simple, fishers, you know. Sorry, guys. Just passing through. Today I was fishing with my new buddy Sam. Sam is from Creed and we have been trying to get together and do some fishing almost all summer. But you know, schedules, they just don't match up. Somehow we found some time, but the problem was is the Colorado backcountry is starting to get a little bit chilly. So we decided to meet in the middle and hit the gorge. There seem to be a lot of nuanced variables that come with fishing the Rio Grande Gorge. One in particular is that the bite window is heavily dependent on the sun, and we were really feeling that. But the good news is that the closer that sun did get to the river, the more the action picked up and we seemed to be getting more bites, which was pretty nice. Oh, hello. Well, there we go, skunk is off. There we go. First little brownie brown of the day. See ya, buddy. Thank you. It was one of those hook sets I didn't believe was real. I was like, that's not a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Nice. Well, the big fish still seem to be sleeping, but Little guys are starting to bite, which is nice. We've had a few bites, this is my second, and I yeah, can't complain with that, so we'll send this guy back. Well, very good. That is our second fish on the morning, and if you can remember from the Rio Grind, that sun has not even touched the water yet, and we're still managing to get on fish, so we're hoping that as soon as that sun gets to the water, we'll start picking up a bit more, maybe finding some bigger boys. That's on the dry. Yeah, that's a caddis. He came up for the caddis. That's sick. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Your eyes do not deceive you. That is the adjustable dry dropper, folks. And he yomped that. Good lordy. No doubt about it. That's easily the best fish of the day. Not a mondo, but certainly getting better. And they're beautiful getting their spawning colors on. So sweet, <laughs> real gold. See ya. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, this is the adjustable dry dropper. So that there caddis can move up and down and change the length on our nymph boy we got on under there while still catching in holding fish. That's, I mean, that's a prime example, that's so sweet. Uh, yeah, as always, I got the video link down below. Go check it out. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that's a good fish, buddy. I don't think he needs, I don't know if he knows he's hooked yet. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a solid bow, buddy. All right, come towards you. Ah! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is also half the fun, is just trying to maneuver. Oh, it's a good fish, folks. Budski boy, come here. Sorry, I'm not fighting him very well. Oh, you didn't see my friend there, did you, buddy? Oh, that's a, that's a honker. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Have you had enough there, sir? Man, he seems beat to hell. I think, yeah, I think I might get him, sorry. Oh, buddy. Yeah, he does. Oh, and it just popped out, how funny. Yahoo! that's nice, baby. Look at that, boy. Beauty. <laughs> that's what you want when you come here, I guess. Well, that is a fine fish. That is absolutely what you want. All things considered, man, that is a nice freaking fish. That's the real bow we want. He fought like, uh, probably like the Dickens, but I tell you what, he looks like he's been uh, kind of beat up on, so we're gonna let him back here and uh, see him swim. Oh, just like that. You're faking it, man. You're good. <laughs> 
Fantastic. Well, that is exactly what we wanted out of there. That was a nice bow. I, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with that. We've got the sun just about to kiss the bank, and I think uh, if, I, if I can read omens, that's a good omen, man. Oh, that's so sick. Let's go. Let's keep moving up this run, though. I might have spoken too soon because I was 100% wrong about this prediction. As soon as that sun hit the water, things slowed way down again. And we couldn't quite tell what the reason was, be it where we were fishing, how we were fishing, or what we were fishing, but that's part of the fun and frustration of getting dialed in. Luckily for us though, Sam was able to break that skunk, break that lull, with a couple nice brownie browns. Get cheeky two-hander on the boy, there you go. <laughs> on that fish. Hey, I'll See you. Missed the hook set, but we are on. I'm really not uh, catching the impressive ones for the camera. No, 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 no. They're all impressive. They're all good. Hello. Hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. See you, bud. Good stuff. Which one was he on? This guy. Kind of a waltz wormy boy? Yeah, waltz worm with some flash. Nice. Yeah. Orange collar. I can dig it. Looks like they can too. Yeah, all over. So you said he was coming right off that rock. That rock right yeah, in the middle. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Gotta love it. Oh, right. oh there he goes. <laughs> two for two. Well, here we are again. <laughs> nice fish, man. That's getting that's getting more what we want. Yeah, it's a little better. Super sick. Okay, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling this time. <laughs> There we go, that's a fish, that's the fish. Oh yeah. That's the fish, buddy. Oh buddy, get out of there, hey. Yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> He's ripping. We're, we're almost there, come on buddy. Oh man, he sure did fight like the Dickens. Wow, Well, it has been a hot second since my last fish, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad we could find this one to break the uh, the interim. That that's a beauty little rainbow right there. He was sitting on the far side, super I would say pretty deep, and he uh, he put up a damn good fight for the size of this fish. I'm I'm pretty happy with how he fought. Let's try and get one more cheeky two on this boy. He's kind of floppy. Oh, don't do it. There we go. That's a great looking fish. Got some nice wide shoulders and he's been he's been eating good, I bet. We'll uh, see him on back. Thanks, sir. <laughs> we fished this morning session pretty hard. This was the perfect place to stop, take a little break, grab a beer, grab some water, and get ready for that afternoon session. Caught me mid battery change. <laughs> a little bit better. Not as big as either of yours. That's a nice fish. I love how the rainbows are the big ones in the river. I know, what's up with that? Where are all the browns? Well, oh, did he just yeet off? You got Ooh, him. damn. Barbless hooks. Well, I'll give you some fishy nooks for that one, dude. <laughs> Good shit. Well, after a lackluster lunch performance, that is my first fish, and I'm I'm pretty stoked on that. Let's get him back. Now, what's cool about that last fish is he actually came on the top fly, kind of a uh, scud-looking thing. It's it's walky. I don't know what the hell you'd call that, but he was about to call that lunch, and I said, "No way! Come here, man." <laughs> I think this run deserves a bit more attention. We had gone through multiple times and had good looks, good drifts, but nothing really took. What I did, and this is key, I just grabbed my indicator and I moved it up three, four inches at most, but even that slight adjustment can make the difference because after our first good drift, nothing. But then on our second good drift, I mean, the results speak for themselves. Whoa! 
Oh shit! Dude, that's a good fish! Oh my god, I just saw it! This is a good fish. Come, on, come right to him. Come right to him. Give him the sauce, baby. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Woo! Frick yeah, dude. That's a nice fish. Woo! Oh, heavens to Betsy. That's nice. <laughs> oh, you gave him the sauce. I appreciate the net, brother. Let's get a tape measure on that thing. Yeah, that's probably that's probably upper teens, no doubt. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Yeah. Dude, nice let's fish. go. That's what I that's what Maybe I like. Maybe a little more, honestly. It's hard when the doubt. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> well, no doubt, best fish of the day. This is one chonkadilla. That's what uh, that's what you want when you come to the Rio. That's kind of the fish. That's the kind of caliber that we're looking for. And I think, yeah, I think it might be a hybrid. You can kind of see under his chinny chin there. He's got a little bit of orange. So that means he's a cutthroat and rainbow hybrid cut bow that's kind of what the Rio's known for but man they uh they just get fat and healthy and boy howdy <laughs> the dims on that boy <laughs> that's what i like to see all right he's about ready let's see him back thank you much missus appreciate it bye let's forget cody that's a nice fish dude can i get some can i get some fishy ducks for that yes <laughs> Oh, sweet heavens to Betsy. That's a cast and a half. That was a crazy one. Yowza. No matter how dime you are, cast seemed to be, after that last nice fish, we hit another super slow period in the action. And again, we couldn't quite tell what it was. It was where we were fishing, how we were fishing. It just, it just seemed to stop. And as the third quarter shifted into the fourth quarter, we only had a little bit of time left to make something happen. My most proud uh, fish of the day. Yeah. Digging on the chub. Let's go. Eating that rainbow warrior like it's nothing, brother. Thank you. No, no, probably really bad. That's not a good sign at all. We should keep moving. <laughs> all righty, we are at our last hole for the day. The canyon light is getting low. We probably have about a half hour before it starts hitting the other side, so we got to... A little bit of time left to make something happen, but hopefully we can at least get one more fish. One more to take home. There we go. That's right. Hey, where are you going there, sonny? Oh, that's a beautiful that is one spunk boy rainbow right there. See ya. Pay really close attention to where I'm standing. This particular boulder is gonna be very, very important in the next clip. No, this, this might be a good fish. Oh. Ow, shit, you see that? <laughs> that was sick. Oh, Lance, come on, baby. Don't do me like that. Get out of there. Gosh, she's running with me through every single rock in this river. No. Oh, 
Oh, I got a net, man. They don't know what's about to hit them. Let's freaking go. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey. Run to the side. Run to the side. Oh, my God. Oh, it's... <laughs> oh my gosh. I got some pretty shoddy tippet on too, man. <laughs> oh man, that's a nice fish. I might just try and grab her myself. Uh, <laughs> yes, dude, let's freaking go. <laughs> That's kind of the last fish we wanted there, buddy. Yeah. Look at that eight ball corner pocket just got him. Like, I'm not even gonna make another cast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be time to scoop. What's that? That's a pretty good fish. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. I think that hook just popped out. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a bath. Let's freaking go, dude. That's so sick. That's a good one. <sighs> oh, you wanna put the tape on her? Tape. Might as well since we got her. Yeah. Let me get this situated real quick. Oh, what a what a what a day-ending fish! That's yeah. what you want to see. Oh, it's crazy! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Your uh, your net might be better for the measurement net. Now, um, let's call it. It's 18. I'm I could sleep happy with that, man. That's so sick. <laughs> Well, folks, this is the fish we were looking for. This is the last run of the day, and we done made we done made it happen. This is uh this is I know I said it last time that that's what you want to come for, but I, I retract that. This is the one you want to come after, man. This is a shouldered up, just oh my gosh, it's a big fish. It's probably gonna flop out of my hands here. Ooh, <laughs> let me try and get a tail on her. That's chrome to the dome, baby. That's so sick, man. <laughs> Let's see if we can do a cheeky one here. With the food. Oh, sweetheart, easy there. Easy there. All right. We might have harassed her enough. It's time to let her, let her swim. That was a sweet fight. You gonna be good to go, girly girl? Oh, sweetheart, like it's nothing. Let's freaking do, give me some fishy nugs for that one, dude. Oh my gosh. So can you see that rock sticking out where I was standing? Literally where I was standing, there's two other rocks on either side, and it was in between that scene. So I mean, I was standing on top of him like not 10 minutes before, and then he's just like, oh cool, I'll eat this like I was I feel like some of these pools, maybe you just need to like, like the thing we don't like to do, just like sit there, sit there and whack them. Cause that's, I mean, that's the only reason I would've sat there and casted that many times to that spot. Yeah was because it's like, last run of the day. Right. Yeah, I mean, but if we would have actually sat there and bop, 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 gave him no caught, other choice. Probably would have caught a few more fish like that. Maybe. maybe that's maybe. that's the thing, you just you just plug those plug those little things into your algorithm, your little your little equation there, yeah. and make it happen, man. So I mean, next time. The is not like that at all. Yeah. You just, you need to like move on really fast. Well, and uh, you know, who knows? It could be because, you know, late in the day, yeah. fish is like, all right, gotta get some food. I, and I don't know. Just threw it over his face enough time. <laughs> but I like. Can't. Also like there's so many seams and the current's so crazy in this river that like, I mean, that could have been the first time, e even with all the casts. No, had. you're right. That like the actual, like that was yeah. the first good cast to his scene. Yeah. Cause that's kind of where that other little one came out of too, which is crazy. <laughs> wild dude, that's freaking wild. That's a wild fish. That's a great way to end the day. <laughs> that jump. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. A day like today is a perfect reminder why I love fly fishing so much. I mean, it all starts off with the people. So big shout out to Sam and all the other fishy folk out there because I find that this activity, this sport, it really pulls a lot of awesome people into it. So no matter who you're talking to, if they fly fish, you can find something to relate on. And in a time like this, I think that's so important. The second thing I just, I love so much is the learning. This entire day, Sam and I, we were given some pretty tough conditions and we just continued to, to mold and shift our approach to make it what the fish wanted. And each little chunk, each little data point gets added to the storage bank and it'll only help you the next time you're out. And 
The final thing that I love and like a day like today reminds me of so much is the experiences, be it good or bad. Having a beer on a riverside lunch or smashing your knee on a rock, you know, be it good, be it bad. All these experiences, they accumulate and make the the essence of a trip. And it just, I, I feel so lucky that I get to go out on the water as much as I do. And this, this footage really helps me step back and, and reflect in a way. And it just, it makes me feel very grateful for what I got. Well, if you're seeing this right now, that means whatever harebrained adventure I'm on is over and so is the video. And all I gotta say is thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested, I would suggest subscribing. I try and put a try and put a video like this out at least once a week, two if I'm feeling good. But yeah, if you are all on top of the Fly Out Season YouTube page, well, I've got some good news for you. We got two things, Discord and Instagram. I've preached it up, down, left, right, center. It is so much fun. Instagram, of course, is the fishy pics. And then the Discord, that's a lot of fun. There are some cool folks over there. And think of it like a big group chat. You just go in there, talk with your buddies, show them your cool flies, your cool fish, and all the stuff you learned on your way. So hope to see you over there soon. And folks, <laughs> wherever you find yourself, I sure hope you're keeping those feet in the water. And until next time, tight lines.